Hey guys, today we're we'll doing cold weather testing on the PSA AKP. We had a bunch of snow and freezing temperatures, so I figured what better time than right now to do some cold weather testing on some guns. So I had the AKP already here for testing, so I figured I might as well start with this one. Uh, real quick, let's get through my relationship with PSA. I did buy this gun with my own money. They did not send it to me, but they have sent stuff to me in the past. So I've been a long time customer of PSA. I bought a lot of guns from them. They've also sent me some things as well. So with all that being said, let's not waste any time. Let's get right into the video and uh, see how this thing performed. Oh, it's cold. All right, that was your issue. The mag wasn't seating right. Empty mag. So the AK's been out here sitting for just shy of three hours. So I'm gonna go out, got four different types of mags. I'm gonna shoot it, see if we can get rid of these mag problems and see if we can have any malfunctions or if it'll continue to run flawlessly like it has so far. So this side is pretty much completely frozen. Four different mags. We're gonna try the one that actually came with the gun first. I have no clue what brand this on. Oh, maybe PSA makes this one. Clicked in really well. It's probably the best I've had. Click in. Let's see how it shoots. All right, so that one was good. Clicks in and out really well. We're gonna do mag pull, the P mag. All right, got it to click in. There's snow in my sight. <laughs> All right, that one worked well. Uh, steel mag. That one's clicked in. That one's good. That one was a little tighter. Yeah, Taco. These ones are always kind of iffy. Looks like it's in. Good. So again, no malfunctions this time, just like I've really had with this, really has not had too many malfunctions. The biggest problem I've been having is the mags. Left this one off for three hours, just shy of three hours. 
got it nice and froze had a bunch of snow on it this side's still a little froze on there so i'll take it inside and get it de-thawed but happy with that it ran really well surprised with the tapco one this one the p or the mag that came with it i like i said i'm pretty sure it's a palmetto state armory made mag actually works the best in here it actually fits in the mag well really well it actually clicks in clicks out really easily Pretty happy with it so far. Works really well. Malfunction wise, have not had any. It has ran flawlessly for me. The only downfall with this is the tightness of mags. Um, I'm comparing this to my other GF3 that I have that has been fantastic. One of my favorite AKs just because how smooth it runs, but this one is having some issues with the tightness of mags. But I'm already seeing a difference in it loosening up a little bit. So as long as it continues to do that, loosens up, and I don't have any more issues. We should be good so so as you guys can tell i had some issues with the mags other than that the gun performed really well uh first video of the day one we basically just introduced it to the cold put it in the snow dug it in a little bit and seen how it shot had some mag issues like i've been having since the start of this gun which we'll talk about a little bit later here uh, and then the second day left it outside for about three hours and then did the same testing multiple different mags things are wearing in a little bit but still had uh, tightness but the gun functioned a lot better on day two which is weird because I left it out a lot longer to get colder so functionality this thing did just fine out in the cold so pretty happy pretty pleased with that now I will say I am a little disappointed in this gun and the fact that my previous GF3 that uh, you guys have probably seen videos of that I've done I have been super happy with it has been a wonderful gun I've had really no malfunctions or any issues with that guns other than one and then I get this one and uh, having issues with the mags was troublesome uh, some of the furniture was a little bit loose and a couple other really little uh, kind of nitpicky things but uh, when I expected the same from what I had previously into this uh, I didn't really get that so I was a little bit disappointed but as long as the gun continues to work well and not have any malfunctions uh, I'll be pretty happy with that now I will say going along with the mags uh, when I first got this, this was awful. P mags were very difficult. Steel mags were almost impossible to get into the gun. My issue was I would get it here and that's all the farther it would lock. It wouldn't actually lock all the way in. Now it actually locks in. I have gotten uh, much more success as you can tell here. So they go in and out a lot easier now and uh, slowly making its way in the right direction. But definitely disappointed at first with how this was performing with mags. So initial thoughts, not so great. Right now it's getting better. Still not super pleased with how uh, that is. But other than that, the rest of the gun has performed really well. Everything performs nicely. Uh, after the testing, when I dried this gun off the first day, I'll show you here, I had some rust all over some little spots, some on the threads here, um, the muzzle device and a couple other little areas day two i had even more rust some was actually on the bolt which was a little bit uh unnerving some on the dust cover so i cleaned all that off got most of it off the only stuff that's left is a little bit on the bolt which i'm going to keep trying to work at and make sure i can get cleared off honestly probably the more i shoot it the better it'll be um, which i am continuing to test this gun and there will be a full review on the whole gun this is just really the the cold weather test not the actual review of the whole gun still want to put more rounds through the gun before i do a full review on it but definitely stay tuned for that we'll see if the mag issue is sorted out in my full thoughts on this gun but so far having a lot of fun with this gun optic will be going back on here not sure what else i will do i really like the plum furniture honestly so i might keep that um but i might get this Cerakoted plum just to match it just because i think it's cool it's the midwest industries handguard that i think looks super sharp on here and kind of modernize it a little bit so uh, other than that guys let me know what your thoughts are let me know if you guys have had any issues with the magazines i keep doing that uh, i really like that actually that extended safety selector. But, uh, let me know if you guys have had any issues with your AKPs or if you really like them, have had good luck. Love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much. If you guys want to help out the channel and the things that I do here, there's a couple ways to do that down in the description. There are some discount codes from companies that I trust that you can use and save you some money along with a link to my website. From there, you can use links like Aero Precision, Premier Body Armor. Anything you use using those links does help out the channel a ton and I do appreciate that. If not, I just appreciate you guys being here, liking, sharing, and subscribing and watching the videos. It does help out as well. A couple companies that support the channel. How it's our TA targets super big supporters of me and I really appreciate them for that. Once again, guys, really look forward to the full review on this. Got a lot of other videos coming here soon of some new testing I'm doing. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much.